the Prepare to Serve and Protect uh, training event is a workshop that was developed in partnership with the Griffith Police Department, the Crossroads YMCA, and the Center for Urban and Regional Excellence, or CURE, from Indiana University Northwest. And what we partnered to do was to, to bring subject matter experts uh, into a workshop where anyone who has an interest in law enforcement can come and learn what our testing process is like. The testing process for law enforcement is unlike any other uh, hiring process. We have guidelines that are set by the state that every applicant has to meet. And the interview process uh, is unique. It's a group panel interview, which is very stressful. Uh, the written test uh, is, is unique to law enforcement. Uh, and also there's a physical portion of it, which uh, we found many candidates have a hard time uh, making the standard. And one of the ways that CURE and IUN helps is to design uh, a workshop and curriculum on the topic of written test taking. So as we know, many people can get very nervous when they approach uh, written exams, especially if you're trying to take an exam in an area which you're really passionate about and you know that doing well is gonna make a difference in your career, right? So we want people to feel comfortable and know that this is, this is something that they can do and do well in. And then we give them some very special tips, but you have to come to the workshop to, to get those tips on how to do well on the test. But it, it can be a matter of reading questions intentionally, making sure that you're um, comprehending, taking your time, taking a breath, uh, so those practical skills, but we also have some other skills uh, that we want to share. We've worked with area police departments and their field training officers in developing a program that will help the candidates meet the qualifications for the physical testing that they must undergo. We have a plan developed for them that will help them attain their push-ups, their jump testing, as well as their sit-ups. There's also some training for developing their running capabilities because there is a 1.5 mile run as well as a sprint run, and we work with them on developing their skills for that. When the candidate arrives, I'll be greeted by, again, uh, officials from the Crown Point, Munster, and Griffith Police Departments will be uh, helping them sign in along with our partners with Crossroads YMCA and representatives from Indiana University Northwest and the Center for Urban Regional Excellence. Uh, it'll be a great meet and greet period, and then we'll uh, go into a uh, auditorium type setting where we'll be going over kind of what the day is going to be. We're we'll going over some test taking tips, interview skills, and then from the interview skills, we'll be going into doing actual mock interviews. I think for me, this program helped me because I got more comfortable with the interview process, what to say, what not to say, and going through that process, acting as if it was real, and then receiving that feedback, that definitely helped a lot. It, and it also gives you more of, um, almost like comforting because you're, you're you're getting extra practice. I honestly have told a few of the officers that I work with now, I think if I had not attended this program, I don't know if I would have initially gotten hired because I feel like they got to know me a little bit. The Prepare to Serve and Protect workshop, uh, one of the, the avenues that we wanted to pursue was to, to bring more minority and female candidates into the testing process and have them succeed through that testing process. Through my career, I, I participated in the testing process, administering it, and we always saw that the majority of the candidates that came through were white males. And obviously, what we, all of our police departments want to reflect the community we serve. It's just a better way to police, better partnerships are formed through the community. Uh, so one of, the, one of the objectives of the workshop was to uh, kind of demystify and welcome minorities and females into the testing process. Uh, what I did notice in my very first testing process was uh, oftentimes, you know, we'd had just a handful of minorities or females that, that applied to the, the candidate workshop. And again, like I stated earlier, uh, the candidate might have just missed, you know, one or two push ups, one or two sit ups, or just didn't do very well on the written test or interview. And, and I knew they could have done better if they just had a little bit of coaching. So that's what this workshop uh, started with was the idea of. How can we improve the opportunity for someone who might feel uh, not as welcomed as others to go through the testing process and to do better during their first time around? Back in 2015, I was part of the pilot program. 
I, even though with my background being an athlete, I knew that I had some, I don't want to say physical limitations, but I had to work at some parts of it a little bit more than others. I like structure. I like to have direction. And this program set everything up for me. For example, with the push-ups that I knew I was going to struggle the most with. This helped guide me to be able to set me up to pass it. And I actually was able to exceed the number that I ever thought would be possible for March 19th. We're going to be there. We know all day that we are there to help the recruits. So it's not going to be just about the program. It's going to be us answering those questions and answering them honestly. So they know, do they want to put the time and the effort into this program? Not just into the program, but also police work. So it's a great way for them to be able to get the inside scoop on being a police officer. It's a community. It's not a one day deal. It's a community that's going to continue to go with you throughout your entire career.